Welcome back to Invest Global. Today we're discussing one of the most important topics, in my opinion, for Web 3.0 and privacy moving forward in this blockchain ecosystem. Now, currently with all decentralized applications, typically you have three um, main wallets for Web 3.0 that people use. I would say the number one is MetaMask, then you have something like Wallet Connect, and then Coinbase Wallet. Now, if you disagree with me, that's fine. Let me know in the comments. But currently all of those wallets have massive privacy issues. Yes, you do have decentralization. Yes, there is some great things, but still your IP address is exposed. If someone finds your IP address, they can find, okay, your wallet on the blockchain, your public address, obviously, which relates to your private key, not saying they can necessarily access your funds because they would need something like a, you know, a keystroke logger on your computer after you type in your, uh, your private key to access your wallet, like your mnemonic, you know, the 12 digit, uh, or sorry, the 12 word, uh, kind of string. Um, but the, the big issue is you're not private, right? So the whole point of this space is it doesn't matter if, if you're used to, uh, you know, ha having trust in your institutions, having trust in the bank, having trust in whatever it is. You're from Australia, you're from Canada, and you don't really think about it. But think about someone from uh, North Korea or someone from right now. I think a good example is El Salvador, right? In the past, you've had these massive currency issues and the trust in a centralized authority is, is kind of dwindled away. So I think the main point here is privacy for people that truly need it. And yes, I think you, privacy should be a right, right? Like you should have the optionality to do so. And that's the problem that I see with MetaMask and these other wallets. So today we're going to basically be discussing blank wallet versus MetaMask, also the blank token, which is in a pretty interesting position, especially after you saw, um, you know, they had this, uh, this essentially test net of their wallet, which would be very, very careful, just a fair warning. Um, by the way, I'll, I'll have uh, all the links that we talked about in today's episode linked down below. Um, so you make sure you're on the official sites. But um, this testnet wallet is not something where you're adding it to your Google Chrome, right? So these are kind of a, the, the future, I think, of the blank wallet. We'll be putting it in the like a Google, Google Chrome um, kind of connection, um, which MetaMask is, right? So it's very, very simple. It's integrated. You can kind of plug and play with uh, decentralized applications. But um, this essentially will just download your computer as a file. You can take a look at like the, the snarks, right? So like the how they kind of did a, um, you know, ZK snarks. I've talked about this in a past video. I've talked about blank, I think, multiple times on this channel. But um, that, that's kind of everything there that was released on uh, June 28th, so just a couple of days ago. Um, overall, I mean, what they're doing is absolutely incredible. I love it. It's the optionality that is the most important. You know, if, if you don't need that, if you don't need the privacy, if you're not worried about it, you can still use Blank Wallet and get better usage than you can on MetaMask. And the other thing about MetaMask that I think is interesting moving forward is they're going to have to compete. For the longest time, they've been able to just kind of lay back and go, you know, hey, we're MetaMask. You know, we're kind of the top dog in the space. Everybody uses us. Um, and hey, that's great. I have nothing against MetaMask. I, I use them for some different things. I have multiple MetaMask accounts. But um, when it comes to long term on blockchain, I want to focus on, on privacy and especially optionality again of that privacy. So uh, th this is massive. You know, I'm assuming MetaMask is going to come out with some sort of a competitive project here, but you can follow them uh, just for updates. I, I like to follow the, these crypto projects because you can then get like up to date things. Sometimes this affects the token price as well. So at blank wallets, um, I personally, I don't like trade off what, what these announcements are, but I just like to kind of keep my finger on the pulse of, okay, what's going on in this category of the crypto market, right? Like what's going on in the wallet category? What's going on in the decentralized exchange category? What's going on with lending platforms, oracles, all these different categories here. Um, you can see here, obviously the blank token is still pretty new. Um, since it got that listing, it's retraced quite significantly. Uh, personally, again, I think this is a really interesting opportunity for blank. I mean, five dollars, and it's retraced back down to uh, yeah, like seventy-five cents. So interesting. I'll just say that interesting. Very, very low market caps. So you have to keep that in mind. It is an early stage project. But go give them a follow on Twitter at Blank Wallet. Give us a follow at Invest Global underscore IO. So now it's time to kind of compare these. Um, I, I think the beautiful thing, and, and they lay it out right here very, very well, is even when you connect your wallet, as I said, your IP is exposed. Once you connect, your wallet address is exposed. Um, if anyone wants to trace you, they can uh, see the decentralized applications you have used, the transfers you've made, and the amount of crypto you hold in your accounts. This is very, very true. So conceal your wealth, hide the origins of your wealth, cover trading activity. All these things are important. They've actually done a series on, um, I think it's called like, oh yeah, Blank to Action, which I really, really like. And this one's the newest one on trading and privacy. They've d done one on NFTs. They I, I always like to follow Medium. Um, that's part of kind of my do your own research uh, video link down below in the description with any altcoin projects I talk about, you have to do your own research. So go watch that video. But um, essentially what, what this is, was it was the article on the test net. Um, <clears throat> you see NFT privacy. So always good to do this. I'm not going to um, go in depth uh, on any of these articles in today's video. I really kind of want to keep it high level and kind of explain how I'm viewing this. Um, but uh, what they're doing, in my opinion, is great. So 
um, as they were talking about here. So cover your trading uh, activity. I've talked about many decentralized exchanges that allow you to have no know, know your customer. So no KYC, which is the main thing that I personally look for, even though I'm from a country where I can get into most centralized exchanges, I prefer no KYC. And again, I don't really have anything to hide. Like I'm not trying to be private about anything, but I think having the optionality of doing so and really having the security of doing so, just like having a VPN, or just like having uh, some more malware software uh, protection on your computer. All these things are important. It's, it's more like belt and suspenders, right? So it's better to have these things in place than in, in kind of worry about them a little bit, worry about them a little bit uh, and be proactive rather than being reactive, right? So someone who's reactive is someone who, you know, Maybe they do, do all these things with centralized exchanges, and then at the end of the day, they're like, "Oh shoot, I you know I didn't have my privacy." Or maybe they're downloading some software on their computer, um, maybe for like a, a crypto exchange, right? But they don't realize they had malware and they had malware on the computer. That's why you should have these things set in place. You should be proactive about it rather than reactive. So keep that in mind, even if it's not a concern right now in your head. Um, keep in mind, okay, let me be proactive. Let me take the proper steps to uh, to move towards something where it's more privacy focused. So I always recommend using a VPN. I like NordVPN. I have my top three VPNs linked down below in the description. But uh, and I recently made a video on an actual crypto uh, style VPN. Um, but anyways, let's talk about this. So each uh, time you make a withdraw or a new trade, you can start uh, on a blank piece of paper, a new wallet with no previous activity. That is pretty awesome. Uh, hide the origins of your wealth. So information about how you acquired your wealth should stay with you. We give you the option to hide or share your wealth origins. Again, optionality, guys. If you don't need it, don't do it. But at least you can click it on and off. That's the main thing. Conceal your wealth. Only you can see access and manage your funds. We group the wealth um, with other individuals under smart contracts so no one can track capital ownership. And if you see here on MetaMask, just by the way, I'm just not focused on blank too much because obviously, like I said, MetaMask is kind of like it's the Goliath, right? So I would say blank is a little bit like the David with uh, his whole privacy focus feature. But MetaMask can kind of just sit back. It reminds me of, you know, when I'm looking at countries that I invest in, um, <clears throat> there, there's certain countries where they're very frontier market, or you could say they're like a pioneer market, right? So the, I would say, especially like West Africa is, is the most kind of pioneer region in the world. You also see some countries in Southeast Asia, which are a bit more emerging. Um, you see South America, like El Salvador, for example, they have to make big moves because some people are just sitting back like the United States kind of more, uh, developed countries, more kind of name brand countries, if you will, um, where, where most people see them in a positive light. Similar with MetaMask, I think that when the masses see something as a, oh, you, you don't even second guess it, like, why do you use it? <clears throat> That's where I personally see opportunity because essentially what's going on here is there's a perception gap in the market. People just assume that MetaMask, I mean, the masses of people, at least that aren't focused on like the actual coding and things like this or privacy, just assume that MetaMask has these things built in, right? That like you're using the blockchain, it's, 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 all out there, like you're, you're completely secure, but it's not. You have to factor in these other things with IP addresses and, and all these other uh, factors because on the blockchain, you have to remember that it's always public to public key, right? So once someone finds your public key, they can track all your transactions, especially if you put it out there and you put it like your public key on your Twitter or something like that. So keep that in mind, guys. Be very, very careful with putting out your public key in comment sections. If you do it at all, start a new wallet and do it with that, right? Start a brand new wallet and just put it on there because then you can always trade out of it. And that's essentially what, what Blank is doing, except it's it's making it so much easier for you, right? So personally, I, I mean, if, if someone's like, you know, hey, um, and I don't really know them that well, send me uh, your public key. I just create a new wallet. I have them send it to there. And then I take the, the funds from there, send it to another wallet. And then typically I'll do like some sort of a kind of a, I guess, like privacy feature where maybe you put in Tornado, maybe you put in Monero, whatever it is. Um, but but again, Blank essentially does this all for you. You don't have to trade between assets. You don't have to do all these different things. Um, it's first ever Chrome extension that gives you untraceable identity. So I love that. Create a wallet, receive a back seed a key, deposit your crypto cash and uh, let automation do the rest. We'll mix your funds with pools of coins in Blank to hide the origin. Man, I love it. I love it. I love it. And again, the main thing, guys, I cannot reiterate this enough is even if it's not necessary, you have to understand that 10 years from now, let's say your crypto portfolio, like let's say you're holding for a very, very long time and uh, maybe you're looking at uh, expatriating from your country because of the taxes. Maybe you're looking at moving to a Caribbean island or moving like here in Georgia where it's a flat tax. Corporate tax, 5%. Personal income tax, flat. It's like personal income tax is like 20% and you can honestly, uh, you can write off a lot of things, uh, especially if you know how to do it with, within a business. But uh, that's for another video. Uh, maybe I'll do a video on that. But um, the, the point here is, Think, think ahead, think towards the future and go, if I'm using MetaMask, I am at these risks. I have these risks. 
But what, if I move over to something like blank, and again, it's not like you lose anything by just testing it out, right? So again, maybe the test net wallet for, for people that aren't familiar with coding isn't the best because essentially it's not really a Chrome extension. So maybe for, for non-technical people, I would wait till their Chrome extension is out, um, which I'm very, very excited about. But uh, yeah, you can see all these other things. So basically they've taken the best from all these other projects, um, like Tornado Cash, practice by smart contracts. Uh, yeah, so awesome, awesome. I, I absolutely love it. So the, the blank token utility starts on day one, fee reductions for token holders, token burns from 50% of the fees, referral and reward systems for uh, use only blank tokens. I love that. Um, liquidity providers earn 50% of the fees, exclusive features, access first functionality to token holders. So this is pretty awesome. You can see all these things where blank is really better than a uh, MetaMask and uh, even Tornado Cash, right? Even though they've kind of taken the best here. Hidden history, MetaMask doesn't have. Zero use tracking doesn't have. Tornado Cache, yes, yes. Um, browser extension, obviously, tor Tornado Cache is, is like a token, right? So it's not an actual like platform that you can use, or in, in this case, right? So it's not an actual like individual wallet. Yes, there's wallets for Tornado Cache. I understand this, but I hope you get what I'm saying there. Um, Web3 ready for all DeFi applications. Air Blank has it. MetaMask has it. ERC20 support, boom, boom, they have it. Um, partial withdrawal, boom, boom, they have it, but they don't have automatic deposits. They don't have a referral system. They don't have revenue sharing. So I love this. Um, the, it's, it's awesome, man. The, the, let's talk about the roadmap here real quick, and then we'll wrap it up um, just by re revisiting the uh, the blank uh, token. And it's awesome that the team is also forward-facing, right? Um, I love it. So uh, you can see the, the top guys here. I'm not too familiar with any of them on here, but um, yeah, pretty, pretty sweet in my opinion what's going on there. Let, let's touch on the roadmap. So uh, we, we've already passed Q1. Q2, by the way, in my do your own research video, I was talking about is a back testing the roadmap and seeing if they actually followed through on these things um, to kind of gauge whether or not they will actually be uh, be releasing the, uh, the things moving forward. So Q3, automatic deposits, one-time addresses, referral system, tour integration. So that's pretty awesome. Um, yeah, I mean, they've, they've already done this. Um, let's see, partial withdrawal, unique liquidity provision, incentives program, and integration with MetaMask Snaps plugin. Interesting. So I'd be curious, is, is that meaning Chrome extension? If you know, let me know down below in the comments, or if anyone from the blank team uh, knows, let me know down below in the comments. That's all for this video, basically. You know, I'll touch back here, uh, you know, $16 million in market cap, really small daily volume, but still interesting play here with uh, with the blank wallet token, especially because we're kind of down back at these lows. Um, yeah, so that's all for this video. If you enjoyed it, like, subscribe, all button all, invest global, join the Telegram group. Let me know what you think about Blank Wallet versus MetaMask, or do you have another wallet that you like to use? Let me know all those things in the in the comments. And I'm um, also, you know, for the comment section, you know, typically it's it's a little bit um, short sighted. So that's why I do recommend joining the Telegram group so we can have these long longer form discussions uh, if you're interested. So that's all for this one. Again, invest global. Until next time.